starts right now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. You cast your ballots and now five days later, we still don't have a decision in decision 2018. Some of the most contentious races on the ballot are still too close to call tonight, including the Senate battle between Martha McSally and Kirsten Cinema. But tonight, Cinema's campaign is declaring certain victory, saying her lead over McSally is insurmountable. Team 12's Bram Resnick is tracking decision 2018 for us tonight. Bram? Yeah, the end is in sight for our ballot count, and four Democratic women could be on the brink of huge victories. Congresswoman Kirsten Sinema's campaign manager declaring tonight that she will be Arizona's next United States Senator, and that would mean she would be the first female Senator from Arizona. Here are the numbers everybody's looking at. Sinema leads Republican Congresswoman Martha McSally by 32,000 votes, 49.5% to 48%. Now McSally would have to win 58% of the remaining 211,000 uncounted ballots in order to tie cinema. The McSally campaign hasn't responded to the cinema campaign's de declaration of victory. Let's go to the Arizona school superintendent race, another election that's been too close to call. But Democrat Kathy Hoffman, a political newcomer who arose out of the Red for Red movement, declared victory tonight over Republican Frank Riggs, a former California congressman and charter school industry executive. Hoffman leads 51% to 49%. Riggs would have to win 61% of the remaining ballots to tie Hoffman. Riggs has not responded to Hoffman's victory declaration. And what a race for Secretary of State, the number two person in state government. Democrat Katie Hobbs was losing by 44,000 votes on election night to Republican business owner Steve Gaynor. Tonight, after more than 400,000 early ballots have been counted, that race is a virtual tie, 50-50. Hobbs just 424 votes behind Gaynor. Now here's why Cinema and the other Democratic candidates believe they've won or will win. The overwhelming majority of the remaining 211,000 uncounted ballots are in counties they're already winning. Maricopa has 162,000 ballots. Cinema's ahead there. Same for Pima County and its 36,000 uncounted ballots. McSally can count on strong support in Pinal County, but only 7,000 ballots remain left there. The high country, Coconino County, is cinema country. She is way ahead. And there's one more Democratic woman, Sandra Kennedy. She appears poised to win a seat on the Arizona Corporation Commission. Now, I want to stress, no independent news organization has called any of these too close to call races. But if current trends hold, those calls could come as soon as Monday. Graham Resnick, 12 News at 10.